Wait, let's have a beginning. I'm Trish and you are? Bill. Bill, nice to meet you. And you work for Iconic, Iconic Imaging, Imaging. Yes. and you make the... We make the sandblasting masks and the equipment to, to etch on glass, glass and crystal, granite, glass marble, crystal. rocks, okay. bricks. Awesome. Okay. So you're going to show me how to do this? Yes. Okay. So you're going to... Can we get one that says Trish on it? Uh, no, I'm no. kidding. <laughs> All You're right, going right, to set mind. up your artwork here okay. your, on your artwork program, like okay. Corel Draw sure. or Adobe. Okay. Once you have it set up, uh -huh. you're going to print that image onto an inkjet film or a laser film that okay. allows light to pass through Okay, it. great. And now, this is your template. Uh -huh. You can use this over and over again uh -huh. to expose this image to your sandblast. I see. Okay. okay. So when you expose it, the light passes through the clear areas. Okay. And it burns it right into the mask. Okay. So all of the areas that are dark blue oh. are now brittle, uh -huh. sandblastable, and the green areas, which was the black areas on the artwork, those are unexposed and they're rubbery and they don't sandblast away. Okay. Okay. So now this is just like a sticker. Okay. It's got an adhesive side to it. Oh, I see. So you're changing by by doing this. You're changing the texture of this, yes. so that when the the grit hits it, yep. the this will go away, but this won't. Correct. And then you do you then have to make sure it's big enough so that the rest of this stuff isn't exposed. Yes. Okay. You mean so you don't sandblast it? So you don't sandblast the. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll use tape. To okay. Tape it off. I see. Mask. I see. Oh, okay. Just masking okay. tape. Okay. Sure. That's a lot of work it looks like to make one. <laughs> well, usually you'll expose more than one at a shot. You know, if you've got a bunch of these, you would okay. print off a bunch at one time. And then and you, you would expose them all at one. Okay. At one. But you have to apply them individually. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now so we're going to take the slip sheet off. Okay. Now this is sticky. Okay. And I'm going to apply it right. to my glass. Okay. Just make sure that it's down. Some people like okay. to use a squeegee. Right, squeegee because otherwise you might get a regular yeah. surface. You get any air bubbles in there, you can push them out. And then you want to just take off the top carrier sheet. Oh. Okay. Cool. And now it's ready to sandblast. Some people like to use a wire wheel. If there's any air bubbles, it'll pop any air, little air bubbles. Mm -hmm. Oh, what does an air bubble do if it's caught in? If it's too big and you sandblast over it, it can burst it, and then let's say the bubble was here, oh. it'll etch that area. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we don't want to etch right, that area. Okay. okay. So there's that. And we're just going to take our masking tape. So you're going to tape it down. Tape around the edges. So we don't sandblast these areas. Uh huh. And then it's ready to sandblast. And how old is this technology? Not well, not the your specific model, but the yep. whole technology of doing it a this photo way. Photo resist films. This is about. This film is about. I want to say eight years old, seven years but old. But I've seen over there, like in some of the hacky machines, it says since 1963. So what were they the using then? The company, oh, they used to have an e like a liquid emulsion, a liquid like emulsion. screen, uh, almost like screen printing emulsions. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They would screen it, okay, let it harden, uh, and then they would do their exposure with I like see. a handheld light. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it was pretty. So those machines still use that, or they'll use these now? This, or they also have films that are called washout films, which is similar to screen printing. Okay. Whereas instead of printing off a negative like this, uh -huh. you print off a positive. Okay. And what's ever black uh -huh. stays water soluble. So after you expose it, you won't be able to see the image until you wash it out with warm to hot water. Oh. Um, and then it washes out your image. Okay. 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 So let's uh. Let's collector. Okay. That's just keeps, collector. Yep. So you don't have to wear a mask, and I'm not wearing a mask either. You got air flowing in here. The air is going. Okay. And that's what keeps the cabinet clean 
when you're sandblasting. I love the sand. Okay, when you hit the foot pedal, your abrasive comes out. Okay, he hit the foot pedal. Okay. And then those blue areas thin out and wow. they sandblast away. Ooh, check that out. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Who are, you, who are you showing this to? Oh, is it okay if I put it up on YouTube? Yeah. Um, I um. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so, what what's this? It's it's glass particles, right? No, the abrasive that we're using is silicon carbide. It's a metallic product. Oh, and then um, how's that feel on your hands? I don't hit my hands. Okay. Yeah. Is it a real problem if you do? If you hold it there, yeah. If you just brush it, yeah. No. It's okay. Okay. But if you hold it, you see that glow? Ah. Uh, that's heat. Okay. Okay. It'll burn. It'll burn oh. your skin. So it's not only coming out at pressure; it's also hot. Yes. Ah. Uh. So if you want it to go deeper, you just keep going back and forth, and oh. you can see it just goes deeper and deeper wow. into the glass. Could you go all the way through? I could. Oh. Yeah. Nice. And there, it's done. Now the easiest way to get this off uh -huh. would be to soak it in warm to hot water uh -huh. and it'll turn to jelly. So they do all of that when they're making one of these? Yeah. That's incredible. Yep. Wow. Incredible. Otherwise, no Nice. <laughs>